everyone, I'm Natasha, the owner of Chupa Doodles, and welcome to my vlog. After much decision making, I decided to move my small business to a storage unit. For those of you who are new to my channel, I actually make merchandise out of my artwork. I mostly design stickers, planner notepads, notebooks, keychains, hoodies, and now even drinkware. It took me a while, but I decided to move my small business to a storage unit. For a while, I've been thinking of moving to a different place as Chupa Doodles has outgrown my home office. I always find myself knocking into objects in my studio and this lack of space makes me quite distracted. I initially actually made a previous YouTube video about reorganizing my studio but in the end, I wasn't really happy with the layout so I didn't continue that video. I've been looking into different options for about a month now and I wanted to move into a private office initially but due to the nature of my business, it was really difficult as some people don't really allow heat presses or they prefer desk work businesses. There were also other options too, but it was either too far away from where I'm currently living or it was too expensive and out of my budget for me. I mean, look at how much stock I have. This is why I wanted a bigger space to work in as I feel too distracted being in such a small environment. This is also coupled with the fact that I'm the type of person that gets distracted quite easily. So I find that working away from home may be a better option for me. I actually didn't think about using a storage unit until my dad mentioned that it might be a better option as a secondary space to store larger items but I thought maybe I could actually work in a storage unit. However, I didn't actually know whether I could work in a storage unit but from my research online, I found that it was common for businesses with a lot of inventory like eBay sellers Although I'm not an eBay seller, I feel like I'm quite similar to an eBay seller in the sense that I have a lot of stock options and quantities. So yay for me! <laughs> so a little bit more about the storage unit itself. The unit that I found was about 3.5 by 4 meters. Initially, I wanted I thought I wanted a smaller unit, so I looked at units which are about 2.5 meters by 2 meters. However, when I actually went to check out the place, I realized those units were too small for me. This unit that was 3.5 by 4 meters will allow me ample space to work, and I also made sure to choose a spot which is near the window. So actually some parts of the storage unit's roof is a translucent window that allows sunlight to come in. So I thought that space would be good for me as I don't have to use too much electricity. And I can also film videos from my Instagram channel and TikTok. We made about 3 trips so far to the storage unit and I still need to do another 2 or 3 trips or so. It costs about $400 a month, which is much more economical than some offices. The owner of the storage unit was also really Good helpful yeah. and we can use these large industrial trolleys. Yeah. I was struggling to open the storage unit, but after some help, I managed to open it. As you can see, there's quite a lot of natural light here. The next part of this video, I'll be cleaning and organizing the space. 
So this space will mostly be used to store and manufacture larger stock, whereas my home studio will be to make more stickers and create artwork. Hopefully this arrangement would make me more productive. So thank you so much for watching. I also have a shop update happening in April. So stay tuned for the next video as I'll be showing more products as well as cleaning and organizing the space. Thank you!